Hey lovelies, the weather outside is cooling down, which means things in the kitchen are just heating up. And today we are celebrating the arrival of soup season with this absolutely incredible chicken pot pie soup. Yes, it is just as good as it sounds. Basically, it is all the goodness of a chicken pot pie, except without having to fuss with any pie crust. So what's not to like about that? For me guys, in all honesty, soup season is my favorite season when it comes to food. So I am so excited. I've got my nice big soup pot on the stove. And honestly, I will tell you guys, once my soup pot is on the stove, it basically doesn't come off the stove until the spring, because you know how much I love me some soup. So in my nice big soup pot, I've got a little bit of oil heating up over medium high heat. And then just as soon as my oil is nice and hot, I'm going to start adding my classic mirepoix. That's a fancy name for basically onion, carrot, and celery. The base for any great soup, in my opinion. I like letting my veggies cook up for say between three and four minutes just until they start to soften. Then it's time to get some garlic into the pot. Glorious garlic, the more garlic the better, especially when it comes to soup. Now after about just 30 seconds or so, that garlic becomes nice and fragrant and that means it is time to add our flour to the pot. Now the flour is going to help thicken this soup tremendously so it gets nice and creamy and delicious. I like to let that flour cook for about a minute or so, stirring it constantly because it really helps to get rid of that floury flavor. You know what I'm talking about, right? And once we've cooked that floury flavor off, it's time to add the rest of our ingredients, starting with our chicken. So of course it would not be chicken soup without chicken. Today I have got three chicken breasts that I shredded. You could easily make this recipe with leftover chicken or with a rotisserie chicken from the supermarket. You can pull it apart and use that chicken. You could also actually cook your chicken right in your soup pot if you want to, but I find this is the perfect place for leftover chicken, so whenever I have it, this soup is on the menu. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add some potatoes to this. I've got two potatoes that I've peeled and diced, and then it's time for my chicken broth. You really wanna use a good quality chicken broth in this kind of cooking, as far as I'm concerned. It really does have a huge impact on the flavor. If you've got homemade chicken broth, of course, that's optimal, but if you don't, go ahead and use the store-bought kind. There's lots of awesome versions there. And the final ingredient we'll be adding is my favorite addition to pretty much any pot of soup. I've got some sprigs of thyme headed in here, and I'm just gonna put them in whole and let them work their delicious herby magic. But we're gonna bring this to a boil, and as soon as it's reached a boil, I'm gonna reduce my heat to about medium, pop a lid on top, and let this cook away for about 12 to 15 minutes. Basically, all I wanna do is make sure that my potato is cooked through and has become nice and tender, and those flavors have had a chance to develop a little bit. I will mention, this is a very quick cooking soup. You could sort of simmer it low and slow if you want to, but if you're in a pinch and wanna serve it on a busy weeknight, this soup can be cooked in under 30 minutes. Not too bad for a weeknight soup. All right, so after 15 minutes, you can see it's so thick and rich. It smells amazing in here, guys, I have to tell you. At this point, I'm ready to just add my finishing ingredients. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in here with a nice big splash of cream. The cream in this recipe is optional, but it does help to make a really rich and delicious broth, so I highly recommend it. And then I am also going to add some corn to this. So I've got frozen corn kernels here. I'm gonna add those right in. And I've also got some peas. You could pretty much add any veggies you want to this soup. That's what makes it so good. It's super versatile. And then finally, I'm also going to add a nice big helping of freshly chopped parsley to help brighten everything up a little bit. And honestly, guys, how gorgeous is this soup? You just wanna let it cook for another, say, two to three minutes just until your corn and your peas are heated through and then it is ready to be served. It is the perfect thing for fall. It's so rich and comforting. You can serve it up with some nice crusty bread if you want to, to sop up all that yumminess. This is a total crowd pleaser. Your family will absolutely adore it, at least mine does, and I hope you will give it a try for yourselves. If you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo, because you guys know how much I love seeing your kitchen creations. Remember, this recipe, like all of my recipes, is featured on HealthyMealPlans.com, our amazing meal planning site that allows you to browse more than a thousand recipes, drag and drop them into your weekly meal plan, and then automatically generates your grocery list for the week. What could be easier than that? 
Thank you guys as always so much for watching. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.